body can express my emotions through dance. Well, I'm not good at dancing at all, but I'm known to break into a little, little jig at social functions every now and then. I like my super small, non-existent boobs because it shows that like I'm an athlete and that like I work really hard. Alright, so what I love about my body is my hair. Um, because it took me a long time to accept it. Um, being a Dominican woman, you're kind of forced to like reject any kind of Afrocentric features that you have. And um, like my hair in its natural state was really considered as bad hair. So it took me a long time to accept like this isn't bad hair, this is my hair. This is how it grows out of my head and I'm gonna love it. And through loving my hair, I found how to love myself also. I love my body because at 63 it's still holding up. Our, our smiles! My smile. We love our bodies because it's ours. I think what I'm loving most about my body this semester is just its ability to communicate with me um, and help me know the things I need even if I'm not so aware of that myself. For me, what I love about my body is just the way I'm able to be flexible and it's just so fun. I love that my body is my home. <laughs> my size, my inner and outer strength. I love everything about my body from the flaws <laughs> to all the great parts about it. Just I love it. I'm really just happy I'm you know alive and breathing and my thighs bring me places and my feet work. So life's pretty great. <laughs> what I love about my body is that it's been able to take me through a sport that is very physically um, and emotionally kind of draining sometimes and exhausting and it's been able to take me from age of 3 to 21 um, and allow me to do something that I really love and am passionate about. I love that when I'm at a party people don't usually expect me to be dancing in the middle of the floor with my shirt off <laughs> and I can command a room with that <laughs> because people just notice. What I love most about my body is the progress that I'm able to make. I'm very dedicated to uh, being fit, and so I'm always looking for ways to improve my fitness. My brain! <laughs> Our dimples, right. dimples in my smile. <laughs> Definitely my hair. I think it's very diverse. Um, it shows my culture, and it just puts a smile on my face every day saying how big it is. So. I love being short, actually. I can always wear heels, which is great. I love a lot of things about my body. Um, one, it gets me where I want to go, gets me outside playing. I love practicing yoga. I'm an avid paddleboard racer. I actually combine paddleboarding and yoga. So my body in those instances um, is strong, fit. It allows me to find balance in my brain, even though well, my, my body is seeking balance. I trust my body in those instances. I can paddle fast, and I have strong muscles. So I love myself. I know y'all do too because of uh, this melanin. Ooh, it's popping, she popping. skin. <laughs> I like my hips. I love my strong legs and big booty because it helps me get the power that I need for the skills. Um, everything from head to toe, from my hair to my toes. I love my hips, they're great for dancing. Um, I love my legs for running, my arms for swimming. I love my eyes. Um, I have my mom's eyes, so when I look at them, I might feel more like her. It's nice when I'm in Ithaca to think about her. And I actually totally uh, embrace my shortness. Like, I love that about myself. I never wear heels. I always wear flats. I always wear sandals or sneakers. I never try to make myself taller. Like, I totally embrace it. Sometimes I like, get picked up, and that's not always fun, but, um... <laughs> There's, like, no, nothing exceptional about it, nothing bad about it. It gets me <laughs> where I want to go every day. It gives me the eye to take my pictures. The, the one thing I will say about our body, I think a lot of times working here in an academic environment, or when you read or you read a lot, write a lot, I still like to be able to work with my hands. So I think that's probably the best thing about my body. What do you love about your body? Look, my thighs could kill a man. <laughs> I love my body because it's strong. Oh. When do you feel proud of your body?
I'm really proud of my body when I'm super sore and feel like I literally can't move, but then I just keep dancing. So what makes me proud of my body is probably the countless hours I put in in the gym, being able to compete on the field with uh, my brothers here at Cornell. And uh, actually last year I lived on West Campus and I was able to walk up the slope without hyperventilating every single day. I'm proud of my body because while training in mixed martial arts, it has taught me that my body is stronger than I thought it was. I'm proud of my smile because no matter what happens and like no matter how tough things get, I always rem remind myself that like if I'm able to smile at the end, then I can make it through anything. Um, I'm proud of my body because it's let me do gymnastics for 16 years. I'm really proud that my body is super resilient. Haven't always taken care of it in the best way I could, especially going through college and having all these competing interests and activities I have to get to. So I'm really proud for it. Just being resilient, always there for me. What makes you proud of your body? My height and my athletic ability let me excel in baseball. I feel proud of my body when I make it up the slope. I realized that being different has actually fueled my success in certain areas and has pushed me to be able to do certain things that I might not have otherwise been able to do. When people think about disability, they often think about the things that you cannot do. They think about your limitations. Um, they don't realize that people with disabilities might be able to do certain things that other individuals are not capable of doing. They never think that you could be top five in the country in ballroom dancing. Your capability and capacity is up to you. We love our bodies!